Hello everybody, this is Tony with Food Focus. Today we're going to go over how to make pulled pork carnitas in your pressure cooker. If you do not have a pressure cooker, I will review how to make this in your slow cooker as well. Here are the ingredients. Four bay leaves, one bouillon cube, I'm using half chicken, half vegetable, two cinnamon sticks, one teaspoon of coriander, two teaspoons of cumin, three cloves of garlic, one and a half teaspoons of oregano, two teaspoons of onion, you can use flaked or powdered, two teaspoons of paprika, a half dish of Mexican chocolate, and a seven pound pork shoulder. Combine all the ingredients in a small mixing bowl except the bay leaves, bouillon cube, cinnamon sticks, garlic cloves, and Mexican chocolate. Mix very well. And for our sauce, you will need half a cup of packed brown sugar, half a cup of ketchup, and a quarter cup of hot sauce. Now it's time to apply our mixture to our pork shoulder. Make sure you get every side of your pork covered in this mixture. There's more than enough to go around, so don't feel too shy to use it. And for those that have the special someone in their life, you could use this time to practice giving a good rub down. Trust me, they'll appreciate it. This next step is optional, but highly recommended. We are going to sear the outside of our pork shoulder. I happen to have a stainless steel insert in my electric pressure cooker. If you do not have a stainless steel insert or are using a slow cooker, you could do these steps on a stove top. Place a tablespoon of oil in the pan. Put it to high heat. Add your pork shoulder. We want to even sear all around the pork shoulder. While your meat is searing, you could heat up two cups of water and add your bouillon cube. Make sure it's dissolved well. Once your meat is completely seared, place your bay leaves, cinnamon sticks, garlic cloves, and Mexican chocolate in the pot with your pork. I like to place mine under the pork to make sure the flavors infuse into my meat. Now it's time to add a stock to the pot. Pour the two cups of stock into the pot with the pork. Now you're going to cook this in a pressure cooker for three and a half hours. If you do not have a pressure cooker, you're going to cook this in a slow cooker for 10 hours. After that, the meat should be fork tender. After your pork is done cooking, remove the pork from your slow cooker or pressure cooker. Discard the bone. Do not discard the broth. Shred the pork and place it flat on a baking sheet. Now we are going to broil our pork. Place your pork in the broiler on high heat until you get a nice even char on top. If you have a fat separating measuring cup, pour the broth into this. The fat will float to the top and you'll be able to pour the broth out with ease. If you do not have a fat separating measuring cup, pour the broth in a regular measuring cup. The fat will float to the top, make sure you skim that off, and we are going to pour this into a pot. To this pot, we're going to add our broth, a half a cup of packed brown sugar, a half a cup of ketchup, and a fourth cup of the hot sauce of your choice. You are going to cook this until it reduces in size. As you can see, mine has reduced by half. This is what we're looking for. Once your meat is charred, it should look like this. You don't want to burn your meat too much, so keep your eye on it. Combine your meat and sauce in a large mixing bowl. Now it's time to enjoy your carnitas. You can eat them many ways, but my favorite way to eat them is wrapped in a taco. And of course, by that taco side is a glass of horchata. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. More videos to come, so stay tuned. And if you like, you can subscribe and hit that thumbs up button. Damn, that's good.